And uh, this is a song which comes from uh, Portsmouth. And uh, this song is called The Rich Miser's Daughter. And it's uh, another one of those songs of uh, lost love and the fact that the father's not too happy that the daughter is involved and embroiled with a, a, a poor sailor. in London did well I don't want an only fine daughter that a sailor loved well as soon as the old man he was out of the way she's along with her sailor boy by night and by day and when that a father well he heard of to some sea captain, he immediately goes, saying, Captain, noble captain, good news I have to tell. I have got a young sailor boy as a transport to sell. And what will you give me, the old miser, he says? Give you seven guineas and I'll take him straight away. Well, I will take him, I will send him far over the main, and he never will return to court her again. And when that the lady she heard of this news. To that same captain, she immediately goes, saying, Captain, noble captain, bad news I have to tell. You have taken my sailor boy, the lad I love so well. Put a hand in a pocket, pulled out handfuls of gold. On that main table, ten hundred she's thrown, saying, Captain, noble captain, I will give you much more if you'll give me my sailor boy, the lad I do adore. It's no, says the captain, oh, and no all such a thing. I've taken your fond lover, sent him far or they be. Well, I have taken your fond lover, sent him far or the main. And he never will return to court you again. Cursed be me father, cursed be he. Own heart is quite true and me. Well, I will go unto me little cot and I'll lay myself down. Oh, and all through this a long night, but William, I'll mourn. I was on a, a songwriting uh, mission. I was uh, was taken, and uh, there was a there was there was going to be like a songwriting competition, and uh, there was no pressure, but you had to come up with about 40 minutes worth of material, 
There's a support act for um, Richard Thompson. So um, I learned very quickly how to write songs. This isn't actually one of my songs, but uh, it came out of that songwriting venture. It's called The Watch. Pour me one more drink Go on and break down my defences Let the warmth of your mouth Melt the snow of this cruel hard winter I take off your watch Put it in my pocket Lay down by your side Nothing can stop us Now is the time The secret world of ours I forget about those consequences I've acquired the taste off your watch put it in my pocket lay down by your side nothing can stop us now is the time this room and this night this can song and what I like to try and do is I like to try and take like a contemporary song and then match it with uh, a traditional song and this is a version of a quite well known song uh, and this one comes from my native Shropshire and it's called The Sheep Crook and the Black Dog actually be surprised how many people ask us which part of Shropshire I'm from 
I always tell them the Newcastle end. Over whilst I am young So well I like my love Sweetly she sang Was there ever a man In a happy state As me with me Flora Flora so fair Well I'll go to me Flora I will say tomorrow we'll be married and once but one day one day said Flora day is to come to be married so early me age is too young go into service to service we Perhaps in a few years, substance and reap. Oh, now don't go to service, leaving me here to cry. Oh, yes, lovely shepherd, leave you by and by. Well, the daughter to service. She went to wait on a lady, was her intent to wait on a lady, a rich lady gay, who clothed fair Flora, Flora so fair. A little while after he wrote three or four lines in it to know her intent while she wrote that she lived such a contented life she never would consent to be poor shepherd's a wife well, these words and expressions pierced like a dart a block of me spirit cheer up my heart seeing that flora will never write no more her answers convince me over and on well me ewes and me lambs Burdens and baggage, I leave them with you. The sheep crook and black dog, I leave them behind. Flora for Flora, so changed a mind. Oh, now spread the green branches over whilst I am young. Oh no, not the banjo. <laughs> so I'll play this tune. Uh, I usually have about sort of like three or four instruments with me, but they're all getting fixed. So I'm going to try and play something slow and carefully and quiet and lyrical on the tenor banjo. <laughs> God tries a lover. <laughs>
Well, <clears throat> in about 1967, I think it was, I suppose one of those kind of seminal weekends that you have, um, there was the uh, Martin Carthy and Dave Swarbrick were playing at the local folk club, and I was about 15, and they were charging the almost unheard of fee of, uh, I think it was like 37 pounds, 10 shillings and sixpence. So they let 15 year olds get in as well. I, I think it was about uh, three and six to get in. And on the Saturday night, they had the Corries on at the, um, uh, at the City Hall in Newcastle. But I didn't have enough pocket money to go and see Tim Harden, who was on at Sunderland Empire on the Sunday. And it's one of those things that I've always regretted that I never actually got to see him live. I think, I think a, a much uh, underrated singer-songwriter. Uh, and there was a program on the radio recently about Tim Harden, which I found quite interesting, basically because he was a bit of a reprobate. Sorry, a reprobate. Do you know, oh, when, as soon as I go out of the area, all I can hear is my accent. It's like reprobate. Uh, Tim Harden, like you know. But, uh, sorry, yes, Tim Harden was actually playing in Sunderland. And um, actually, there's nothing worse there's nothing worse than a posh Geordie. We do you think you're talking, Tiv? Four pints of bitter and a snow bell. So um, anyway, but uh, there was this radio programme and uh, some of the things that he used to do to feed his, his drug had, habit was he was playing in Chicago and he had three nights at this, uh, this huge theatre and he phoned up the organiser, who should have known better, and said, I've got nothing to wear. So the organiser said, well, you can take my credit card and buy yourself three suits for the three nights that you're on at this place. So he bought the three suits and then sold them <laughs> and never turned up to the concerts, which I think is uh, above and beyond sort of like even, even bad lad stuff. Anyway, this is a song which is called uh, The Black Sheep Boy, and it goes uh, exactly like this. Here I am back home again I need a rest All they ask is where I've been Knowing I've been west I'm the family's unknown boy Golden curls of envied hair Pretty girls with faces fair See the shine in the black sheep boy See that shine See the shine in a black sheep boy Well if you love me let me live in peace Please understand Black sheep can wear the golden fleece Have the winning hand I'm the family's unknown boy Golden curls of envied hair Pretty girls with faces fair See the shine in the black sheep boy See that shine See the shine in the black sheep boy Here I am back home again I need a rest All they ask is where I've been Knowing I've been west I'm the family's unknown boy Golden curls of envied hair Pretty girls with faces fair See the shine in the black sheep boy See that shine See the shine in the black sheep boy If you love me, let me live in peace Please understand Black sheep can wear the golden fleece Have the winning hand I'm the family's unknown boy Golden curls of envied hair Pretty girls with faces fair See the shine in the black sheep boy See that shine See the shine in a black sheep boy. Uh, 
But oh, the first place I met with me darling Is in taking a walk by the strand Her apron is full of good oysters Got an odious big one in her hand Oh, and the one she took up of a pocket She thrust it right into my hand Her two eyes did shine like two diamonds But which I took her to be the queen of this land Oh, and a hair it hung over a shoulder Tied up with a black velvet band And in a neat little village in Belfast A village where I were Bound. Now many misfortune came over me Which took me far away from this land Far away from me friends and relations And far from my own native land I been seven long years was transported But look to the black velvet band <laughs> friend's house. I know the idea of a banjo player having friends, but uh, I heard this in a friend's house uh, on a compilation CD that they let me tape, and it's uh, by James Taylor. Good millwork and man from Massachusetts died. 
eyes with too much whiskey Leaves me these three faces to feed Millwork ain't easy Millwork ain't hard Millwork it ain't nothing but An awful boring job I wait on a daydream on uh, fairly soon, I believe, at the uh, Doncaster Tennis Club. Is that right? Yeah? First time I met uh, Steve, he was quiet and shy and wouldn't have said boot to a goose and was sort of like filled with nerves. I think actually, yeah, when we went to Abbeydale uh, Industrial Hamlet, and a little aside for you, me and Bob painted our noses blue and we walked around just to see what people would see. And unfortunately, nobody actually said anything. They all tried to ignore her. <laughs> I think the words fat and chance come to mind. Anyway, this is, uh, this is one of Steve's songs. Sad 
stories His eyes filled with pride But the door is still open To those who think That he's just an old man When Matthew talks of his youth You believe it's the truth that you'll praise Every word that he down in Cornwall hands hard and calloused with every pick fall and live for each day till the highway led down to the sea Matthew just boarded a boat like an aging seagull he was paid sailor by trade job for a passage to Lagos and made 50,000 in snow, lost it all to a second happiest um, traditional folk song I know. Okay? The other one's so... So I'm going to play you the second happiest um, traditional folk song I know. Okay? The other one's so sugary sweet it makes me feel a little bit nauseous. So uh, this is a, a song which is called The Dark-Eyed Sailor. And my children who hate folk music with a, a venom that can barely be expressed. Um, the herd this piece of music being played and all six eyes turned round and looked at me and said Daddy, they're playing your tune it was horrible I tell you Amen. 
had a sailor all on her way. So I paid attention, so I paid attention to hear what they might say. Said William, lady, why walk alone? The evening's over, the day's near done. She cried as tears from her eyes did fall. It's me dark-eyed sailor, tis me dark-eyed sailor that has caused my downfall. It's six long years since he left this land. A golden ring I took from me hand. We broke that token, his half's with me and the others rolling and the others rolling at the bottom of the sea said William Lady brought him from your mind another sailor will prove kind love turns aside as it's cold you'll grow like a wind morning, like a winter's morning, when the ground is covered with snow. With his coal black eyes and his curly hair, his pleasant tongue did me heart and snare. Gentle he was not a rake like you, to entice a maiden, to entice a maiden, to slide the jacket below. Then half the ring did young William show. She seemed distracted, twixt grief and war. You're welcome, Billy, I of the land and gold. For me dark-eyed sailor, for me dark-eyed sailor, so manly, true and bold. Now, I'm a huge fan of Roy Harper, and uh, this is one of his songs. And the first time I actually got to, to talk to Roy Harper, he was telling this very sad story about um, this horse that died. And you know when you get into that frame of mind when no matter how sort of like sad somebody is and they're telling you something and you know you shouldn't laugh. Well, I just couldn't stop laughing and I just thought I was this complete and utter idiot. I've spoken to him since. Could be 
chaff It could be John With a new ball sting in their tail And it could be me It could be thee Maybe the sting in the ale Sting in the ale Uh, tunes that I learned all from the, the people like Paddy McNicholas and uh, all these tunes at the region and nobody ever knew the names of them but uh, they, were, they were great blokes. Paddy McNicholas in, in particular used to play this flute and uh, he would come in his best suit and a tie that he'd look that he'd like he'd walk the dog in it and um, he'd pull out He'd pull out, the, uh, he'd pull out the, the different bits of the flute and put them together and he'd blow them, blow them so hard and if you sit next to him, it would part your hair right over. And uh, so I'm going to play you some of these region tunes that we used to play. And uh, in the 1890s, it's okay, this is going to be dead quick. I can see by your faces, oh no, he's not going to drivel on. But in the 1890s, they used to say that the tunes were being played too quickly. You know, when you first start playing a musical instrument, like... All you want to do is like play as loud and fast as you can. Now that I find myself a little bit older, I quite like playing tunes in a kind of a steady way. So I'll, uh, I'll play them in the way that we used to play with the, with the likes of Paddy McNicholas.
a song which is uh, written by Judy Collins, and uh, this really was the album that sort of changed my attitude towards uh, towards folk music. I started listening to other people like Sandy Denny and uh, Joni Mitchell and Joan Baez, you know, people like that. And it's called My Father. Father always promised us we would live in France. We'd go boating on the sea. I would learn to Well, I'm going to finish off now. I've got to say, uh, I was a bit worried because uh, it's, it's that long since I've sung in front of anybody, uh, apart from singing, Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Or all of the others are, what does a dog say and what does a lion say? Because I was singing to, 
to Owen this afternoon. Well, um, I've had a great time, and thank you very much indeed. And uh, thank you, Bob, for asking me. I don't see this as the big comeback, by the way. <laughs> so don't be worried. <laughs> but I'm going to finish off with a song which is called The Deeper Well. Now, I've been toying with you up till now because I've tried to sing as few songs with choruses as possible. But the door's locked and I know where you live and I've got an A to Z and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay? The chorus is, well, eh, eh, el, I need the water from a deeper well. Okay? It's not the open university. So, well, eh, eh, el, I need the water from a deeper well. I have absolutely no idea what this song's about. It's really kind of primeval. And I heard it one time. You know when you, you come back home and you say, I'm just going to watch two minutes of television. And then you wind up falling asleep and waking up at four o'clock in the morning like this. Don't you dare take a photograph like this. And you wake up with your mouth, mouth open and you're lying there. I used to like it when the TV used to go off and had that high-pitched whistling noise, which used to wake you up and make you go to bed, or at least find a, a less crowded spot on the settee. And uh, I fell asleep and I woke up with this playing on the television, and it was Emmy Lou Harris singing this song, which I've no idea what it's about, but it's fab. was a terrible sight nipple to the bottle gun to the cell to the hole in the bottom of a deeper well well I need the water from a deeper well well I need the water from a deeper well I was looking for love I was looking for money looking for blood and looking for honey looking for the winner the water from a deeper well. Well, hey, hell, I need the water from a deeper well. Well, hey, hell, I need the water from a deeper well. Now, hey, mama, don't you carry that load? Tell your baby about the bend in the road, about the rebel yell. But the rebel yell and the one that fell I need the water from a deeper well Last chance Well, 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 well I need the water from a deeper well Can't you hear ya? Well, I need the water from a deeper well Last chance Well, I need the water from a deeper well I've known him a long time and I still think he's exquisite. Uh, I might be biased, but Tony Wilson. Tony. Okay. Well, I 
And it, well, he said more. <laughs> I've got to say, like, um, when I was full-time singing, I used to sort of, uh, I used to protect my voice and sort of, you know, not talk too much. And now that I'm doing it, and then he went up and he came up. It's, it's been fantastic for me singing. But uh, I'm going <laughs> to sing a song which I wrote and... Uh, this, this isn't too miserable. This, this, this is a very hopeful and uh, happy song and basically just saying thank you very much for, for coming along and uh, listening to me rattle on because some of this was in English, if you weren't 100% sure. <laughs> just like being home, a room full of strangers. Further down this road, I'll see you again. Don't, don't dry up now on me. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. A glass to those thoughts, all ever unspoken. A Jew to friendships, never returned. Save are the kindness of those good friends who abide in us further down this road. Further down this road, I see you again. It's a chorus. Pain all mine to the way life treats you Further down this road Further down this road I see you again Companions and strangers This hour of a parting We tumble headlong Paths that we've gone, though happy to meet their sorrow in the leaving. Further down this road, further down this road, I see you again. Sing, pain or mind to the way life treats you. Further down this road, further down this road. Further down this road, I'll see you again. Your parting wishes were fond as you greeted. The touch of your hand, it lingers in my mind. Happy to meet their sorrow in the leaving. Further down this road Further down this road I see you again Pain or mind To the way life treats you Further down this road Further down this road I see you again to those thoughts all ever unspoken a Jew to friendships never returned save are the kindness of those good friends who abide in us further down this road further down this road I see you again Down this road, further down this road, I see you again. Pain or mind, the way life treats you. Further down this road, further down this road, we'll be strangers no more very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Well, I've really enjoyed that and I, I suppose I'm biased because I, I, I've known Tony a long time but I, I, I thought I'd be right and I, yeah, I am right because you've been clapping like that and appreciating him. So thanks Tony once again. Thank Tony Wilson.
And don't forget where we are two weeks' time. Bring your friends because it's good, isn't it? It is good here, isn't it? It's a good club. It's got great potential. We need more people, uh, obviously. Uh, we've not had a bad night. Every act's been great. So see you in two weeks, and thanks for coming.